Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem today. So it's uh, something like a string match. Since it's the second problem in context and uh, the test cases are not that long. So we don't need to use some complicated algorithm like MP. We can just use brute force like pattern match algorithm. So this is problem. We want to match each group in these nums and they cannot have overlap. Okay, let's take a look at constraints. The n at most is 1000. So in this case, cases, we can use some naive algorithm. Let's take a look at my implementation. So this is the main function. We initialize index to zero. And for each group, I try to match this group in my remaining nums. If this function return an index that is less than zero, which means we cannot match this group, then I just return false. Otherwise, this index is the next starting index that we can match the next element in these groups. Okay, let's take a look at match group function. So the match group function, uh, it sets start um, from index and it try to match the groups, um, like match whole groups at this index. Okay, so for each start, we initialize match to true. And if it match, we just return start plus group dot size, which is the uh, next match index. Okay, then in this inner for loop, it's quite simple. We just for loop every element in this group. And then we try to see if, if the element in arms is same or not. If it's not same, we set match to force, then just break. Then we can test next start. Okay, let's take a look at the time complexity. Assuming there are k groups on average, and for each group, um, the average length is L. N is the nums length. So in this for loop, we know we will for loop k times. And in this for loop, we will for loop at most n times. And in this inner for loop, we will for loop at L times. So the time complexity at, uh, in worst cases can be OK and L. Okay, such a sense. 